Wine Fest started in humble beginnings 17 years ago with a pop-up tent and a cooler in the parking lot of Cyburns. I think we've came a long way. It's a real honor tonight to feature the wines of the main Maison Juan. Ça me semble très très bien. C'est comme ça je peux parler français, tout le monde me comprend. Ça va très bien. Oui. It's a real pleasure being here and being able to share the love and the passion we have and my family has had for Burgundy for so many, many years. We have a tendency not to like to do anything twice, but this dish is, in my mind, made to go with Chardonnay and white Burgundy. We're very fortunate this year that with the growth of Wine Fest and the growth of our events, we're able to increase our donations to the Burn Laxer Memorial Scholarship funded through the James Baird Foundation. You know, my father had the foresight to buy a lot of these wines in large quantities that we could sell her and enjoy so many years later. And tonight in the Legacy Dinner, we have an opportunity to showcase wines going back 50 years that Byrne purchased. I think he is somewhere looking down upon us tonight and smiling. Riesling from the 1960s, California Chardonnay from the 80s, and then we're going to go heavy Bordeaux going back into the 1940s through the 1950s and 60s. We're going to finish with a 1939 saw turn. We're going to decant all the old wines the way that Byrne wanted these wines to be done. Favorite thing of the Wine Fest this year would be in the way we split up seminars down at the hotel. This is a blending seminar, and blending is one of those components as winemakers that is really fascinating. It's probably the funnest thing I get to do as part of my responsibilities at the winery. So the wines in front of you are actually straight from barrels, so nobody's tasted these wines except for you guys in the room. Then Jesse Lang took those votes from everyone in the seminar, made three blends, and everyone picked a favorite from there, and most people picked Blend number three, that wine will evolve, and as it evolves, he'll use that as the guide and the footprint to blending a Burns Cuvée for us. The real fun for Wine Fest for me is the soiree, which is the cocktail party on Saturday night. We had trumpeters that came out every half hour and blew the trumpets, and then we'd introduce a new drink. Everyone really loved it. The band was fantastic. A lot of beautiful hats by the ladies, lots of bow ties by the gentlemen. In fact, we bought bow ties for all the staff to wear. Even the kitchen guys had bow ties on. Everything was very derby-like. We were very fortunate in that we were able to expand the footprint of Wine Fest this year, which allowed for a few more tickets to be sold. For the grand tasting event, which was for 1,200 people this year, we try to make anywhere from six to 700 portions of every canapé, depending on what they are, the things that we know are going to be more popular and make a little more of. I know the cheese booth, we had about 1,400 pounds of cheese this year. So we have 232 wines from around the world. Everything from the world's greatest Burgundies to wonderful Super Tuscans to Icon wines from California as well as great values from around the world. Doors are now open. Greeted guests with a beautiful red, rich velvet lounge as you walked into the first tent, which features all of our United States and Southern Hemisphere wines. I think set the tone for moving into the other areas of Wine Fest. So at a Chandon Champagne patio with their American summer. And then as you stepped into Sideburns, the New Haven area, we featured Belvedere and Belvedere cocktails, all in rich shades of blue and white. As you left the Moet Hennessy Oasis, we took you into the VIP lounge, which truly is the pinnacle of the Oasis. This year, we featured the emerald green of the Don Perignon bottle. I do regret missing the penguins walking through. So I had a good time actually getting to go out and actually talk to everybody instead of constantly just being running around. But it also served as a great way for our sous chefs to get the show off. They all did an amazing job running the food booth. We had a new area called the Lounge du Fromage, which we themed it with disco balls and had great music, and it just became the place to be in all of the tents. I don't know how you could wrap up such a great wine fest. I know I say that almost every time we do this, but it gets better and better. We'll do our best to make it you know, the best final ending. I'll tell a few stories and a little bit about winemaking. I mean, this year is going to be our 18th annual wine fest. It will be held April 16th through April 20th, 2015. We are really, really excited to also keep our expanded footprints, add some more champagne brands and liquor brands to the portfolio. We look forward to welcoming you back to all of our wonderful events, and we'll see you there.